According to Harvard Business Review, people generally spend more than four hours a day on their smartphones. That's equivalent to 60 full days every year. Not to mention, 80% of children check their phones every five minutes, as stated by Tanner Walton on TED's talk. It reminds me of a quote from Albert Einstein. It has become appallingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. The Honorable Judges, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Salim Levina Rusli from Ignatius Global School, Palembang. Today, I stand before you to address a topic that is affecting many of us. How to break smartphone addiction. Smartphone addiction is not in my dictionary. That's not me. I'm not addicted. Is that what you think? But let's be honest. <laughs> How often do you use your phones or check it throughout the day? What happens when you can't find it? Panic sets in. That's called nomophobia, the fear of being without your phones. But don't worry, you're not alone. Around 1.5 billion people in China and many others worldwide are suspected to be addicted to technology. It's become such a significant problem that parents are enrolling their children in the talk centers to break them free from this addiction. So, how can we break free from smartphone addiction? Here are some tips for you. First, set specific time limits for phone usage. The Canadian 24-hour movement guidelines recommend a maximum of two hours of recreational screen time daily for children aged 5 to 17. My dad applied to the Canadian 24-hour movement guidelines by setting a two-hour limit for me. He installed screen time parental control. Designed for parents, this app allows them to monitor and limit their children's screen time, set apps restrictions, and block specific content. The result is fantastic! It improved my sleep, family time, and focus breaking my smartphone addiction. Second, create phone-free zones in your home. My family decided to create phone-free zones during meals and important family moments. We placed a phone basket near the dining table, and during gatherings, we voluntarily put our phones in it. The result has been amazing. With no distractions, these phone-free zones strengthened our family connections, allowing us to cherish more meaningful moments together. Lastly, Find alternative activities that don't involve screens, such as reading, exercising, practicing your hobbies, or even joining religious activities like I did last year. I joined a church retreat for a week, and we were told to leave our phones behind. It was tough at first, but guess what? It felt so liberating. Without the constant distraction of a phone, I connected more with the people around me. We engaged in real conversations, shared stories, and laughed together without any digital interruptions. And it was one of the best times of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make a change together. Put down those phones now. Engage with the world around you. Reconnect with the real human connections. Break free from smartphone addiction. Rediscover the joy of living in the present moments. Make a change and get a chance. Thank you.